Oh, we're gonna get fancy today, my people. And the fragrance I'm gonna review today is actually not even mine. It's wifey's. And if y'all snitch on me, slapping all of y'all. Real talk. She's probably gonna be pissed if she's an avid fan of mine, which I hope she is, and watch this video and like, yo, why you touching my shit, my G? And then probably just hit me with the because this is one of her more expensive fragrances that was a gift to her for her birthday. Good fucking gift. It's one of the first times that I really had to experience this fragrance house because, you know me, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, budget. And this fragrance isn't really discounted that much that often. So let's roll my motherfucking music and find out what her fragrance is that's really unisex. You sexy Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yo, what's popping to my people? What a beautiful day it is. It's only minus 95 degrees. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that cold. My nipples aren't protruding like this old school porn that I watched. What was it? Girls with three inch nipples? It was actually Asians with three inch nipples. It was really a really awkward porn. And it was one of my first ones in VHS. She was crazy though. Shout out to my boy Ja, he was a big fan of that too. I think he stole the tape. You're a thief. Back to the fragrance at hand. This is actually a unisex fragrance. Beautiful unisex fragrance. From the moment that she sprayed it on, I was like, damn, this shit smells quite fucking nice. I've never smelled anything from this house that I can think of off the top of my head. Because again, this isn't a fragrance that isn't discounted that much and isn't found. Let's present the fragrance to stop talking to shit. The fragrance is none other than La Labo's The Noir 29. So again, this was a birthday gift from my sister-in-law to my wife for her birthday. We trying to be bougie out here, I feel you. It's a good fucking gift though, I ain't gonna front. I haven't really fucked with much shit from Lalabo. Yo, you know how much she hates when I put shit like this in my nose? Oh, she's gonna be so pissed. My bad, boo. This fragrance is actually super interesting because it's predominantly based on black tea. It's got a black tea essence to it and a really prominent fucking fig note. And it's kind of like a dirty fig, a dirty musky fig with a tea essence. These are the fragrances that excite me that you gotta keep going back to it and back to it, wait for it to dry down, see how it changes and it develops. This is definitely one of those fragrances that changes and develops. The opening may seem a little harsh because again, it smells kind of like a dirty musky fig. So it's kind of slightly off-putting, but it goes away instantly, winding on to a very delicious, Smoky fig tea. It's got a nice thick cedar dry down. The fig is still prominent. It still has that oriental tea, like fresh tea. That ones that are already loose pack it. You know what I'm saying? Not the little fucking Lipton joints that you get for $1.99. That loose pack Asian tea that you only get in Canal Street. You know what I'm saying? From the dude who speaks no English and he's gonna rape you for like five extra dollars because this shit is like organic. Slick motherfuckers. I respect it. Very gorgeous. I mean, it's super unisex. It may lean a little bit more femme, but really it's all based on pH and this when it comes to this fucking fragrance. I love the Lalabo presentation. It's really dope. They personalize it when you get it made at the store. You know what I'm saying? In this case, it says happy birthday and then my wife's name, uh, Mrs. Kuba. This is a 100 ml bottle. These joints go for about $180. It's not cheap, but you don't gotta go crazy on the trigger with this because this motherfucker does last and project very well. The sillage on this is pretty outstanding, to be honest with you. And it smells like nothing that I have in my collection. And I hope she lets me use it. You know, my wife is kind of evil sometimes, in the best way possible, because, you know, to be my wife, you gotta be special. This fragrance is special. The Noir 29, if you guys have ever smelled a tea prominent fragrance or a figgy woody fragrance and you enjoy it, you're gonna love this. This is really amazing and I really hope to use it more or just get to use it, period. Because as long as she's away, the mice will play and this mouse right here is a New York mouse, so I'm dirty as shit and I drag pizza down the steps. You remember Pizza Rat? It is your best life. Shout out to him. That's my third cousin on my sister's aunt's uh, little nephew side. Tea, fig, wood, musk, amazing, delicious. Projection lasts. 
very intoxicating, very intriguing. I think it's pretty much a conversation piece. It's a conversation starter for sure because I don't smell anything like it. And it will bring people like, oh, what are you wearing? And I've seen that happen. And it, people just get caught up in that sillage like, fuck is that? This ain't no shit from Macy's, my G. Dope, the Noir 29. Have you guys smelled this? Let me know. Is this shit a ball sprayer? Absolutely. Who doesn't want their tea smelling like balls? Yo, should I spray this right now? She's gonna be so pissed. Fuck it. My bad, boo. I gotta spray the plums. Woo! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Tea bagged tea bags. Woody fig. So you know what I'm saying? My tea bag got tea bag and my woods got wood on it with the two figs just chilling. That's so disturbing. You know I love y'all motherfuckers from the hearts and the uh, tea bags. I'll see y'all motherfuckers next time. Let me know what other Lalabo fragrance that I should get my hands on. And I'll see you next time. You know who it is? This your boy. Smooches! Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? I don't know. Wanna know who's gonna pass the test? I mean,